What is up, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, y'all, hold up, hold up. My apologies. I don't know what's going on with my hair here. Uh, green screen issues. I'm sorry. Let, let's just get into the video. In the video. In this video, I'm giving you guys, I wouldn't say an update, but uh, the chances the Lions can still make the playoffs. I know, I know it's crazy. But we're actually going to be talking about their chances if they win out. Let's get it started. <laughs> Before we get into the video, please sure to go subscribe or go check out to my gaming channel, Dose Speed Gaming. Uh, my next episode will actually be dropping today, episode number nine of our Rebuilding Lions series. It's a lot of fun over there. It has to do with the Lions. A lot of people like it. So uh, if you want to check it out, you can. Maybe you'll like it too. I don't. Please. Scrolling through. You know, I was scrolling through some of my news and I came across this article. And uh, this is done by MLive.com. And they said, look, Lions have a 16% shot to make the playoffs if they win out. Now, obviously, winning out was not a guarantee. It's almost impossible at this point i mean i'm i'm really gonna be happy if they win this sunday i know some people want to see them lose and i'm okay with that i understand and it's pretty obvious why you want them to lose you want a higher draft pick i have no problems with that what if the lions showed us that has shown us yeah they can win out i mean heck i'd be kind of surprised if they beat the washington redskins i'm not gonna lie i don't know if they're gonna beat the redskins like if i was if they were both playing to win i don't know if they beat the redskins this weekend I won't be surprised if they lose to the Redskins. But I came across this and I was like, okay, I'll share it with you guys. Because I know some people are still interested in this. And again, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to want the Lions to lose and get a higher pick. Because odds are, that's their best bet at this point. Because that's the position they put themselves in. But, when you do look at it, the Lions do have a 16% chance to make the playoffs if they win out. So some people are asking me about this. Now, right now, they have less than a 1% chance with a lot of other teams. Like the Bengals, the Falcons, those teams. And it just doesn't look very likely. The Lions need to win out. And if they win out, they would finish 9-6-1. and one. So that would be a pretty solid way to, to finish, I guess, 9-6-1. and one. I mean, really, it's like this. You either lose and play for a playoff pick or I need to see them run the table. If they win seven games, that does not help, right? If you win seven games and we're like the 15th pick, I'm going to be like, okay, cool. I mean, does that really helpful? Or or if we could just lose out, we'd have like the sixth pick, fifth or sixth pick. They'd be like, okay, there you go. Now you get some solid players every round. Or you try to run the table and maybe some by some crazy miracle you make the playoffs. I know it isn't likely and people don't like talking about it. But I just thought because I ran across this, I would share it with you guys. Very Slay already talked about, you know, what it would mean if the Lions don't make the playoffs. Like things would get ugly and stuff like that because that was their goal. Their goal coming in the season was to make the playoffs. That's what he said. He said this weeks ago and they haven't won since he said this. And they're really struggling right now because their defense is just awful. I mean, it is so hard to watch this defense. And offensively, we're dealing with a backup quarterback who, I'm not going to lie, he's looked pretty good. I can't put any of the blame on Jeff Driscoll. Yes, if Stafford was here, maybe we'd beat the Cowboys, but we'd have had to score 40 points. I mean, let's be real for a second. Even with Stafford scoring 40 points is a lot. So I don't know. But the Lions need to somehow run the table to have a chance to make playoffs. So they don't. Once they lose more game, it's under 1% again. And Matt Patricia, it would be a really good look, I would say. You know, for me, coming from a guy who was upset with Patricia. And obviously, like I said before, I don't want to see any coach fired after two years because I don't think that helps. But I was upset with Patricia. If he could run the table... I would not be very happy if you still make the playoffs. I'd just be like, oh, well, that doesn't help. But I would at least be confident. Like, yeah, you know what? He has shown us some strides. And so that would be pretty cool to see. I can't lie. If they run in the table, that would be kind of cool to see. And obviously, I want to see my team in the playoffs. You know how hard it is to watch football when they're not in the playoffs? I, can, I can't. I can't even watch the playoffs. I don't know why you guys. Let me know. Who do you guys watch when the Lions are not in the playoffs? Do you watch it? Do you not watch it? Do you watch the Seahawks? Like, I don't know. Some people, a lot of people like the Seahawks for some reason. I don't I don't know why. I mean, they're cool, but I guess they got some cool uniforms, stuff like that. Cool color rush uniforms. I'll tell you that. Okay, what am I talking about? Stop getting off topic. But seriously, I just don't really watch the playoffs at all because usually the Packers are in there. Well, someone from the NFC North is going to be in there, not us. And I don't like that team, so I root for them to lose, but that's basically it. I really don't watch until the Super Bowl, and that's just because sometimes, you know, that's like a main event. Everybody watches the Super Bowl, right? You got the commercials. You usually have the Patriots. That's basically where they are every single year. So every, everybody usually at least checks into that. Doesn't mean they watch the full thing. And I honestly don't care about the playoffs once the Lions are out because I don't have a second favorite team. It's the Lions and then any other team that plays the Green Bay Packers. It's, it's that simple for me. But I thought I would share this with you guys. If Lions do win out, they would have a 16% shot to make the playoffs. Now, if they lose this weekend, the Packers and Vikings win, our odds are gone. Look at our remaining schedule. We have the Redskins coming up this weekend. Like I said, I would not be surprised if we lose this game. I literally would not be surprised. And keep in mind, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm not coming out here saying, yes, we're going to win out right now. Because what I've seen, when I said that this team could make the playoffs and I wasn't giving up... I thought, you know, you know, they can get a little bit better defensively. They haven't gotten any better defensively. And now you lose on Matthew Stafford. That makes it even harder. 
I don't know. I mean, I'm sure the Lions are going to play till the very end. I don't think they're going to try to lose on purpose. But they may. I don't know what their intentions are. But I want to see one or the other. I'd rather see them either have the six pick or something or you know, at least run the table and be in a chance to make the playoffs. Obviously, they don't control anything after that because that's the situation they're in. The, really, the only game that you could confidently say the Lions should win is this weekend. They should win this weekend. They're favored by three and a half versus a team with one win. Yeah, that's not a good thing. They should win this weekend. I mean, everybody thinks they should win. And they play the Bears at home. I like none of these are games that I'm, I'm looking at and be like, yep, we're going to win this game because I can't anymore. I literally can't when you look at how bad we've been defensively. The Vikings, I don't know how we're going to be, how we'd beat the Vikings. You know, you should beat the Buccaneers. You should beat the Bears. You should beat the Redskins. I don't know how we'd beat the Vikings. We should beat the Broncos. And I don't know how you would beat the Packers. So it's, it's, it's a long shot. It's a very long shot. But I thought I would share that with you guys to at least let you guys know what's going on. And that's just really my thoughts. I just want one or the other. I would love to see the Lions win out. But again, seven wins or something, that would just be like, you know, you try. That's cool. But you really messed up our draft picks. <laughs> you really messed it up because it looks like at this point we're already preparing for next season, which is understandable when you are 3-6-1 and one in this tough of a division and conference. So we'll see what happens. I just want to get those odds out there. So maybe a miracle happens, okay? Motor City Miracle, I've talked about it. Maybe. I don't know. Let me hear your thoughts, comments below. And also answer the comment question of the day. When the Lions are not in the playoffs, who do you watch? Do you watch it or do not watch it? And what team do you root for? There you go. Thank you, Pat, for watching. And I'm out.